really quick. It's Friday. I'm about to start prepping for an event that I have on Sunday. This is my first event after COVID. Well, COVID's still going on, but since this has been going on, this is going to be my first event. I'm super excited. I'm going to have some really pretty colors. I'm going to show you some of the balloons that I have. I just emptied them out of the packaging that they came in. Um, it's like a pretty butterfly theme for the inspiration photo that she sent me. I have some. These are all Qualitex. If you want to know where I got them from, I did order them from um, Burton & Burton. I have teal color pink yellow orange and then i'm gonna do some pops of gold um i have the golds in um seven and 11 inch i actually had two events this weekend which is why i purchased so many gold um but it got canceled so those are gonna stay here in the box um hopefully i get to use those soon um, but i did want to just show you guys a little bit more of behind the scenes for this vlog um so that you guys will know how i am actually doing things um, and then I also have these pretty butterflies. Um, it's like a butterfly themed shower. So I ordered these and I'm going to be incorporating these into the garlands. But you'll see a little bit more of these uh, a little later. But just wanted to sh let you guys know what's going on tonight. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where I'm designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same. Please excuse my head wrap. I am not in the mood to do my hair. Um, but I did want to get some content for you guys because I definitely dropped the ball completely in June. I'm trying to get back on the pace with things. And I have my first event since the whole COVID disaster on tomorrow. So right now I'm prepping my balloon columns. I did show you guys how to do these previously, but I wanted to do a different type of design with them. This is also going to be my first time. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring you guys along with me for the journey per usual. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notification bell so that you are notified every single time I do an upload and you're not tardy to the party. So let's get started. I did kind of already start without you guys and then I was like, wait, I'm also in pajamas. Um, so I have my stands here, which I did show you guys how to create using um, some lamp stands. I'll link them down in the description box below so you can see the exact ones that I use. These are, I believe, $7.99 a piece and they are very sturdy. The base is very heavy so you don't have to worry about um, them blowing over or anything. I know typically um, I did try to use the plastic ones in the past that I ordered like off of Amazon. Those topple over so easy. Some people use a water balloon base for their columns. Again, those can topple over so easy. But this is very, very sturdy and strong. I think these poles are probably Probably at least seven feet tall and I'm doing two of them if you can see right here and one right here so what I have here as well is my balloon sizer I've showed you guys this on the vlog before you can do this without a balloon sizer but I do like for the base for my columns to have some type of solid structure um, so that um, I don't have to worry about them looking too imbalanced. I can't eyeball it, but today I'm gonna use a sizer. Um, it does take an, ex add an extra few minutes to your um, time to create this, but it's totally worth it. Um, so to start off, I use the largest circle that is on my sizer here, and I did these two sets. I'll show you guys how I blew them up here when I do the next ones. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and intertwine them like so. And then once they are intertwined, I am attaching them, attaching them to my, my structure here. And I, I have my other set here so I can put it on. I wanna do them at the same time so that they can look as much as the same as possible. So what you're gonna do is a gap in between. You're gonna slide your pole in between that here, bring it down to the bottom. And then you're gonna overlap them over each other. Uh oh, about to take the pole down with you guys. You're gonna overlap them and give it a little push and that is what attaches them to the base. And I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side. I have my two dupes crossing over, creating a quad. And then I'm gonna stick it between the poles and then crisscross them to attach them, push it down, and this is nice and secure. And so this is what they are looking like. So now that I have got this first set on for both, um, what I'm gonna do now, as I was explaining to you guys, I used the larger, the largest hole on my sizer. I'll link this in the description box for you guys as well. I'm gonna now use the second largest, which is on this side. When I blow up my balloons, do two at a time. So 
So now that I have the two balloons blown up, I'm gonna sit them upside down on top of here, but I'm gonna also be releasing air up here at the top until the balloon slides through. Once it goes through out a problem, you know it's the right size. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And now they are the same size, and then I take them and tie them in a knot together at the same time. And I'm gonna do that for both columns. All right, so I want my columns to be similar in style to my garland, and I know that I plan on doing kind of like clusters with the garland, so I wanna, the columns to do the same effect so instead of doing four pink this time I have um, two pink and I'm gonna do two blue to see if I can um, get this to work how I want it to look so this is what the columns are looking like right now as you can see they're kind of clustered they're not perfect um, and so that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna rotate between the 10 and the eight inch balloon. 10, eight, 10, eight, 10, eight. Until I work my way up to the top. Um, and then I'm also gonna be doing the same pattern. Four of one color and then two of each, of two of the bottom color and then two of the next color towards as I work my way up to the top. Clothes because I had to run to Target real quick, but I'm gonna get back to working, picking up where I left off. So I just wrapped up. Um, I was able to get all the colors twice except the yellow, which is gonna be what I'm gonna do, um, the big ball on top. Um, for the topper, it's gonna be yellow. to so bring in more yellow, and then all I have to do now is like last time, I'm gonna go in and add my clusters throughout to give it more of an organic feel because that's my vibes for my company. And yeah, so. Probably do the topper in the morning, but I do wanna go ahead and at least get the clusters on, and I did some of those last night. I'll show them to you guys here. If you're not familiar with the original organic balloon color video I did, you definitely should check that one out. Um, and I also did one of my more recent vlogs I actually did during this whole COVID situation. I showed you guys how to make the clusters to add Love into your, um, I see it baby, into your columns to give it an organic feel. So I made, not a lot. I just wanted to get started last night while I was watching TV. I wanted to feel like I was being productive. So I did do clusters in all of the colors. These are some examples of them here. This one's slightly bigger because I used um, some nine inches, a nine inch or two in this one. So yeah, so I'm going to um, get these put on to my 260s, which I have a bag here. And I am going to go ahead and get those added on. As you guys can see behind me, I did go ahead and put my clusters on my 260s. I'm gonna go ahead and get them added in. I'm starting off with one of each color for each column just to see how it looks. Then I have a few extras in the bag that I can um, add on as well as make. I use, I showed you guys last night, but these are the five inches that I used um, to do my clusters. And then the yellows, I did buy a bag of nine inch ones accidentally. Um, so the nine inch ones do have a few bigger ones on there. I should have got nine inch in all the colors, but for some reason I must've forgot to add to cart, but, um, or they didn't have them in stock or something. Yeah, let's take off your bonnet. You wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. Come to everybody, hi.
So now that I have my clusters on, have my pretty butterflies I showed you guys. I forgot to get double sided tape, so I'm trying to think if I should. I don't want to risk popping them with the hot glue, so I'm thinking about using, seeing if these extra. I have some extra command strips. Let me see how they look, how they work. Let's see, cut a piece. See. This is the wall side, so we're gonna put the red part on the back of this. Press it in good. Bring that closer. And then it's on the back like that. I don't know if this is gonna work for balloons, but we're gonna find out. Let's put this one right here and see. Hold it for 10 seconds, just like I would if I was doing it on the wall. Oh, works perfect. So I'm gonna use these extra, I have quite a few extra command strips that I can um, cut and use for this. So this is how it came out. I used a one color of each butterfly on each specific color. I think it looks super cute so far. I'll give you guys another close up at the actual event. And then tomorrow I'm gonna add the huge yellow topper to bring more of this yellow in. And I'm gonna remove that row um, off the top of there. So that's not showing and put the topper on, but I just wanna leave that on there. That makes it easy for me to actually pick up and carry it into the venue. So I'm gonna take that off tomorrow, but overall I love how it came out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is get started on making more clusters for the balloon garland that is gonna be around the boxwood hedge for my garland on tomorrow. And I'm gonna also film that for a separate vlog for you guys to see that set up. So you'll see two videos from this event um, that I will be putting out this month. So stay tuned for either this, I don't know which one I'll put up first. So I will see you on tomorrow when I put the topper on. So stay tuned for the topper and complete setup of getting this done at the event. Yes, baby. 